Hi, my name is uh, Reinhard Verrees and I would like to give a little bit of explanation about the uh, level crossing uh, that I made uh, in my attic and how I uh, try to mimic uh, reality uh, a little bit. Well, the situation is like uh, this. There are two roads coming together and splitting again and crossing uh, the railway here with a couple of uh, uh, signals. So, uh, seen from this direction, uh, yeah, you see the road crossing it and there's a road here and there. There are two uh signals here and yeah half of one uh, is over here this is a bit of a strange one because it's uh the cross is on a separate pole and this one is attached to the one standing here i'll show it uh better in the attic um anyway you've got uh the station and if a train comes from this direction, it uh, enables this contact and the level crossing switches on, which is handled by uh, a small box, which I'll show later on, as th that stands next to the railway. So there are three uh, contacts, um, a train comes from this direction, enables the level crossing and when it passes this point, uh, the entire train has passed, uh, the level crossing switches off again. From this direction um, there is a contact to switch off uh, the level crossing but because all the trains have to stop at the station and make a call uh, to the uh, traffic conductor the uh, Zugleiter um, they have time to press a button near the Eisenbahn gebäude uh, and Fox gebäude uh, so the, 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 the main station building uh, there's a box with a yeah, a button you have to press or a uh, key you have to uh, uh, use and that switches on the installation and it automatically switches off again. If something goes wrong uh, and it doesn't automatically switch on or off, you have two boxes on a pole. There is one standing here. The uh, Hilfs Einschalt taste, Hilfs Ausschalt taste. So the uh, auxiliary uh, switched, switch them on or and off. So if the automatic uh, mechanism fails, you can always just stop the train, turn the key, and uh, you're ready. Uh, one box with a switch in it uh, that's better recognizable. Yeah, it's called a HALT. Something like, uh, okay, uh, HALT für an Schiervaarten. If you're, a, uh, if you're a switching, so you're not a real uh, train moving to the next station, but you're uh, switching inside the station, uh, then the um, uh, automatic mechanism isn't used, but you just have to use this uh, Rangier Shelter RS uh, to manually switch on or switch off uh, the installation.
So yeah, that's basically it. That's also how I uh, programmed it using a Arduino. I've got, uh, I don't uh, have this switch. I'm only using this one because then I can keep it hidden in the uh, uh, bridge in front of the door that I have here. But the idea is the same. So I have a contact here, contact here, and a key in the station. The switch is on from this direction. And I have the uh, Rangier shelter. Okay. Well, this is how it looks like uh, in my attic. Um, this is uh, the uh, box that in, no, in reality has all the uh, electronics or relays or whatever. Uh, so this is where all the contacts uh, have a connection to. And if you look very closely, yep, there is a contact here. Uh, with a wire going to um, uh, some kind of uh, small uh, uh, box to make the connection and there's a kind of a sewer pipe uh, around it for a little bit of protection. But you can see the uh, uh, contact, I've got a photo of it. So there is there is one like uh, that also uh, somewhere over here, which you cannot see. Um, you've got the two signals uh, here and here, and on the other side of the road there is there isn't one here. Uh, but there's a double one. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, one pushing, looking in that direction and one in the other. And the strange thing is that uh, this one is not connected to across below it. Uh, so it's connected to, it's kind of a double header. So, um, yeah, we have uh, the one, the two, uh, het had, Hilfs Einschalt, Hilfs Ausschalt taste, so for the emergency switching on and off uh, of the installation. And right here we have the uh, Rancier Schalter, so if you are switching you can switch it on or off. Let's zoom in a little bit again. So, it's a recognizable halt, the box below it, and a wire going to the ground. Um, uh, this board I have reproduced over here. Blinklicht anlage, einschalt, and so uh, switch on. Uh, the installation. And if I turn the key, the installation starts, stops, starts again. So, 
that's all fine. And of course, there's also a baan überwachungssignaal, a signal uh, to tell the driver if the installation is uh, on or not. Um, ah, it is working again today. Half the days it doesn't work. So the bottom light is always on. Uh, that's just to show, okay, it's, it's, it's standing over here. And if the uh, installation operational, it will blink together with the signal. So if I switch it off, it's off. So as a driver, it's a way to recognize that it is safe to cross. In the photos that I have, there is a funny little pile of wood behind the signal. That's a detail that I'm going to add later on. Um, let's go to uh, the switch in the station building. You see I uh, have a nice station building. But, well, yeah, the whole installation is here. And this button, uh, if I press it, the installation is on. So if a train drives over the contact over here, which is Um, in here, so there's an infrared contact over there, um, it is uh, on now, and if I put my hand in front of the, it's off. So after about uh, a second it switches off when the last of the train is uh, passed. The other contact uh, is hidden away uh, in the tunnel. Uh, I'm going to replace them with uh, something uh, better uh, tomorrow or so, but uh, it will still work. So if I uh, make a contact here, Uh, oh yeah, uh, nothing happens because that's the train that's still driving in this direction. So that first has to pass this contact and then the installation waits uh, five seconds or so before it um, arms again. So it's ready to switch on again because yeah, that's the yeah. To just give a little bit of pause to don't not to react too soon for on a train driving in the wrong direction. So if I activate it now, you might have heard a small click. And it's active now. And when the train passes this contact, um, it's obviously driving in that direction. So we have to yeah, wait five seconds or so to switch it off. That's enough time for the train to pass because in reality it would react to this contact. Um, yeah, so that's how it works in both directions. Now I'll let a, a real train uh, drive over the crossing. Click, activate uh, 
a little crossing and after it completely passed one, two, three, four, five, yeah, it's off. I pressed the button in the station building so the train can depart. And it is off again. Hooray!